Hello children. In these days of lockdown, we can feel very disconnected from nature, particularly here in Spain where a lot of people live in flats and they don't have access to the garden. Some people have a balcony and that allows them to uh, get outside, particularly at eight o'clock when we're clapping everybody, from the nurses to the people that work in the shops, from the doctors, everybody that's helping us right now in this time of of uncertainty. Now, today we're going to look at how to seed an avocado. If you remember, we put an avocado in our salad the other day and we saved the stone. I think it's called a stone, an avocado stone, but you can also say, I suppose, the avocado seed. But because it's so large, I think it's an avocado stone. But anyway, we saved this from the salad and today we're going to see if we can make it grow into an avocado plant. Fortunately, I like avocados and we can get avocados in the greengrocers. So I have, th I have three since we made the salad together. <laughs> So I'm going to show you three different ways of uh, making your avocado grow. Now the first method of seeding or growing your avocado is to use a jam jar and your seed or your stone and some screws. Screws. What I'm going to do is, the seed has a top and a bottom. The top is, in most seeds, it's usually the smaller or the thinner end, and the fat end is the bottom end. I could make some jokes about that, but as we're in Spain, you probably wouldn't understand them. Each screw, I've got three screws, I'm going to screw into the side of the seed in three different sections. Not too deeply. One. Two, three, think Sputnik or a satellite. Beep, 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 beep. The three screws have got to be wider than the end of the, or the opening of the jam jar. Because what you're going to do is put your seed in the jam jar like this. And then with some water, we're going to fill up our jam jar so that the bottom of the avocado, seed or stone, is sitting in water. There we go. And then we're just going to leave that somewhere nice and warm in the house. So that's the first. Now, the second way of helping our avocado to root is just to take a normal glass. This one's broken, here you can see, but I kept it just for this, um, for this activity. And all you do is you put your avocado in the glass, like this. And fill it with water. Like so. You can see that part of the top 
of the avocado. It's clear of the water, but the fat bottom bit is, uh, there you go, the fat bottom bit is in the water. Now you might say, how is, how is that going to grow if it's practically submerged in water? Well, in nature, I'm assuming for the last how many millions of years before humans started growing avocados, avocados would have fallen naturally. You can see when they fall from the tree, boom, they don't fall and stand upright like that. They fall like this. Now, if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you an experiment that I started when we had lockdown. Right, so here we go. For those people that don't believe me, you can see an experiment that I started before lockdown. I just threw some avocado. I like my avocados, as you can see. I am avocado man. And as you can see there, some of them are starting to split. And one in particular has got a leaf starting to grow and has put out a root. Can you see that? Like a little worm growing out the bottom. That is its root. And that is the one we're going to work on today. So here we go. Here's the avocado stone that we took out of the, um, the experiment. And you can see there's the leaf bit growing out of the top and there's the root. Now you have to be really careful with that root because we don't want to break it. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could put it straight into another jam jar like so, or you can do as we did before, and now that you know that it's gonna grow, you can put your screws Sputnik style into oops I'm being really careful here because I don't want to split the seed or break the root obviously so oh okay so there you have your three and this one, you can put in a jar all of its own. And once again, we just fill it up with water. Like so. And now you can watch that one. grow. So what happens next? This is what happens next. Here's one I rooted a long time ago. This is about two months, three months, as you can see. I have my Sputnik screws. The root, the main root, that main root grew all the way down and then started some more secondary roots. This, in English, we call a tap root. A tap root. And then we've got some more roots there. And as you can see, 
At the top is starting to grow the leaves and the stem. We've got little baby leaves that are growing at the top there. So, stem, seed, roots, and this very long one that I said before is the tap root. Now, what happens next is this. Now, because we're in, what are we, A April, we're in April. The reason that this one took such a long time was that we were going through winter and it was dark. This one, as you can see, was started earlier and it's already starting to grow. Those roots are much longer and stronger. The seed is still visible and we have a stem. Now what I did about four weeks ago was I cut the stem after about two inches because that makes the plant a bit stronger. And as you can see, look at all this that's grown in such a short space of time. Here we've got the stem, the leaves, the seed, and the roots. One, two, three. So here we have, if you like, the four main stages. Over here, we have the seed that we sputniked today. Here's the second seed with its tap root that we took out of the pot. And there you can see inside is where the leaves are starting to grow. Then we have one that we did about, oh, I can't remember when we did that one. And you can see at the top is growing the stem. And then finally, we have our plant quite recognizable now. And when lockdown is finished, I'll go out and buy some soil or some compost, and I'll be able to put that into a pot to grow. There we go. An experiment you might like to try while we're in lockdown. See you soon.